On the 3A football field, Shelley and Fruitland play tomorrow at Middleton High School. This is the fifth time since 2007 the Russets and Grizzlies meet for the state championship, and Shelley has won all four of those previous meetings. Julia Cox rejoins us with more on Shelley and Fruitland. Yeah, Jeff Shelley will look to win a 3A title for the first time since 2013, but this program has a long history of winning championships. Shelley has a chance to win its seventh state title since 2003. Their six current state championships are the most of any 3A school over that time frame. This run to the state finals came as a bit of a surprise to many, considering the Russets went just five and five last season. But they credit being closer as a team for their success. The seniors last year weren't very like close, and then we had a couple of bonding sessions. We had a couple like where we would just hang out, and a lot of the juniors and seniors became friends. And we have sophomores that came up, and we just took them in. Guys like each other. They they hate each other in practice because they compete hard, but then after. They're all smiles, giggles, and laughs, and it's like Mason said, you know, they, they don't ever take themselves too seriously, which I think is important because then it involves all of us. We all play an intricate part in getting where we want to go. The Russets are undefeated heading into Saturday's matchup against Fruitland, who is 8-2 and two this season. Shelley has jumped out to a fast start for most of the year, and especially in the playoffs, and they'll look to do the same against the Grizzlies on Saturday. You know, we've, we've told our guys, like, you know, take care of business early, and we can get your, your younger guys in. We can get everybody playing time, get everybody an opportunity to taste the dome, taste playing in a big game, getting meaningful reps, and those guys have gone out and wanted to execute for their teammates so they can see them in the game and root them on. So it's been nice. It, it, there's not a lot of coaching on my part when that happens. Fruitland's two losses this season have both been against 4A opponents, and the Russets know that they'll need to come in prepared. We're just going to attack them in, all in what we do. We're just going to. We're just going to do what we do. No, no penalties. We had a lot of penalties last week. And I say it a lot, but just that's, we're just going to need to play our game, play physical, and just play smart. They, they're bigger, but they always have been bigger, so that, that doesn't change much for us. Um, we're going to have to utilize our speed on the outside and uh, not, don't try to fight fire with fire going big on big. We've got we to gotta get some dudes out in space and let them run. The Russets' championship win in 2013 came against Fruitland. Shelley won 17 to 14, and Price believes they may be treating it as a revenge game. This isn't the first time they've seen us. This isn't the second time. This isn't the third time. Like this is, they they're out for something, and they they want it. So we're gonna have to just fight harder. Now Fruitland is no joke. They've played in every championship game except for one. Since 2006, and during that time frame, they've won two state titles one in 2006 and one in 2010. Kickoff for that game is set for tomorrow at Middleton High School. Jeff, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Julia. We're sure hoping Shelly can be one of two teams from District 6, Skyline being other. Maybe they both can win the state title Saturday in the Treasure.